Okay, welcome, and this is the second episode on Hang'em High. I finished doing the canopy. Okay, so we've got a nice roof that comes down along the whole thing. Plenty of room for people to come in. You can allow people to fly in here if you want, so I thought maybe it'd be a cool idea to have, you know, people could call in a, a strike from a ship or something. That'd be cool. Like, just dependent on the score. You could have a referee in a ship and he's allowed to shoot. <laughs> but you could do lots of stuff. So, yeah, anyway. Here is the docking bay. I've tried to use one of these uh, new blocks. It's uh, called a faction permission module. It should allow anybody who's not in the faction to open the door. So that's a pretty cool way for allowing people to get in here. So I might be using that. Um, today I'm going to be making the control room. So, what? That block is back. Right, this is a bit of a weird bug I've been having as well, guys. This red slab keeps reappearing. Um, it's not actually part of this station. It's part of a station that was in this sector, I think. <laughs> and it just keeps on coming back. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Okay, that is a really weird bug, because we've got a sort of... We've still got some of the blocks in this wall here. Which shouldn't be possible. I just got a feeling it's just going to come back. <laughs> this, is this really weird slab of red holes that just sort of keeps reappearing. Uh, right. There you go, look. This will destroy the station. Okay. And it's gone. Anyway, so uh, today what I'm going to be doing is... I'm going to be building the door controls for each of the team spawns. Because they should be closable by an admin. Um, and uh, that will lock the game so that people can play without, you know, people coming in and griefing. Even though I doubt that's going to happen, this is a different game. <laughs> Very different game. So today, like I say, I'm going to be making the um, sort of controls. They're just going to go around the outside to each pod. And uh, it'll close the outside up. Also, I thought to change this side from being a red and blue to being, uh, you know, two other teams. So I haven't decided what colours yet, but I've just been working on the uh, Hang'em High level. Um, I've done a bunch of new stuff here. Um, I've spent a little bit of time making the doors work. So if I were to show you the control room, for example, we've got the red team switch here. So you hit that button and it'll open this door. So the red team are allowed in, they come in, they all set their spawn point to this undetonator and then when they spawn they sort of walk off and hit the gravity unit and then drop down at this end of the level I've made this corner sort of red base if you will and then this corner blue base um, the blues drop down on this corner the reds drop down on this corner so there's room for f two other teams as well but um, haven't decided on what the colors are going to be I just set up the um, the plex door switches so as you can see here we've got a plex door it comes through the wall then it goes down along and then it touches this inside here which goes along the one edge to open that whole area there so that's I was missing one. <laughs> okay, um, but then of course we had a bit of a trouble because look over there. I don't really want to have like massive plex columns coming across there. So what I did was I've made a sort of conduit tunnel for the plex door. So I'm just going to take you down. It goes underneath. And then we have a small corridor with obviously we've got plex door, plex door. And these go along here. Oh, only that one. And then it comes back up out of the tunnel. Runs along. And then back down into another tunnel. Do you know what? I could have done that better. There we go. That's it. And then it runs down into this tunnel. Goes along here. And then we go up. And I probably could have done that better as well. Like I say. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops, oh dear. It's a bit funky. You can actually do it really well with this preview now. It's easier than it was before. So, that goes along there and touches that wall. 
and then obviously the other one goes up here and touches this wall um, and and then I'm building a wall around it like this so then there's just going to be a big wall with a sort of slight triangular bit here going down this edge and this edge and um, and then you know so they won't be able to see they'll only be able to see the bit of the or hopefully they'll only be able to see the bit of the level in front I don't want to make it too obvious though because you could spend ages making these and then you know it's a little bit lost just want to get them in here so they can shoot each other um, and that is that I'll come back to you when I'm, when I'm done okay guys last update this is nearly ready now I think I I'm getting very close to uh, making this available now um, we're going to trial run it on the server for a while and see how it goes but um, we have a red spawn we have a white spawn we have a blue spawn and a green spawn typically you'd be playing red versus blue you know corner to corner uh, red versus blue or white versus green I'm still currently working on the white and the green recolorings for their purple halo skin so um, unless of course he can make me one that's better because I'd, ideally I'd like to bundle the skins with this so that play players can like you know get organized and get playing <laughs> um, I don't think there needs to be a green and a a green and a white base necessarily but if there was going to be one it would just be the opposite corners from where they start so the white spawn would be on this little area here and then the green spot you know the green base sorry the green base would be probably this in this area here okay so because obviously if we ever get the functionality for capture the flag or king of the hill then I'll definitely implement that um, but yeah um, in the control room we can utilize see it, here it is in the control room here we can use the uh, control so there's the blue gate open the blue gate you can let the blue players in when they're all in close it behind them and then you can let the uh, white team in you know for example it's nice and easy there's a build block in the middle uh, when you come out of here the person that's admin has to be obviously the founder of the faction which this is imported as HQ but we'll go through that in another video um, coming through here would be good so all of these are faction only doors and these are controlled by admin so there's no need for a public access block uh, for any of those I've put sort of like you know the name of the team and it's all coloured inside so you can tell which team it is you know because it's a red room um, this is the logo for the uh, level and the faction block is in the middle of it there is a destructible environments mode where you destroy the faction block before play and um, you know you can have your friends uh, shoot from their spaceships if you want there's no problem with that um, because obviously you can completely destroy this structure and um, just import another one for round two <laughs> so I hope people enjoy this I'm going to be doing some filming once I get some people together and uh, you know fingers well fingers crossed it should be soon the video for that um, and yeah like I say it's been a great project and uh, if everything goes smoothly while we're testing it then it'll be made available for download probably in a couple of days so there you go there's the teams just giving you a little bit of a tour there's the uh, blue team and the white team uh, the idea is they just park up their ships around here and leave them outside um, I was gonna make like docking and stuff but most people have very very large ships so of course if you just brought a core you can just throw it and let it bounce around in the car park if you actually brought a proper ship and it's not too big then it can fit on there if your ship's really big then you can park it outside and bring your shuttle in here okay this is like a sort of spectators slash visitor parking area um, there's a door here for admin to let people uh, 
to, to let people in and have a look around if they want and then there is another door over here to let people spectate if they want but obviously there's no way to stop them from sniping <laughs> from up there um, and I assume that more different weapon types are going to be added soon or you know I would imagine at some point definitely you can obviously watch it from up here but the view isn't too great so what I thought and also to allow people to still do sort of ship bombardments I don't know if I'll be able to get in this yeah I see there's a bit of an issue I put the thing on it but I haven't quite got that cracked yet so it works when you press R but not with the docking laser like if I click on it no nope, nothing never mind so yeah the idea is that uh, if you were playing that particular game mode you could have a small ship here and you could have him shooting at the people as well as them playing so you know you could provide another layer of another layer of sort of gameplay there so i've put in the new doors to stop so that all players can come out of their spawns at once the control is here i have encased all of the plex doors that aren't buried in a bit of plex glass and um, also the phantom the phantom red bits back so i don't know how but i logged out and logged in and it's back and i'm just going to test to see if it actually affects because there it is it's over the blue and the green so i'm going to try the blue try the blue and then go and see if blue's open is blue open is that that's red that's white, that's blue. Blue is open, so the Plex door still works through it. So even though it's there, it's not causing a problem. The Plex doors are still working. Random. So that's about it. I think I'm just about ready to upload it and start sharing it. So uh, keep an eye on the, uh, on the channel because it'll be the first place to announce the download. Um, I'm probably going to post it on Reddit, Facebook, Google+, Plus, all the usuals, and of course the official forum. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you soon.